Well, I was just doing my video and Amy was making fun of me, so I turned it off and she goes, Oh, people like it when I make fun of you. <laughs> <laughs> We're on our way home and it's going to be a long day again today. Videos today, we have so much to talk about. I have so much to talk about. I was just getting geared up. I uh, wanted to talk about a number of things and I got a phone call. Nice gentleman I met yesterday at the sale. His name was James Troyer. He gave me his uh, his information. He was the breeder <laughs> on hip number one. Somehow he found out, or maybe somebody just guessed, that I was the underbidder on number one. Now, a lot went into the number one yesterday. That was number one of 277. That was the first horse in the sale, selling at 10 o'clock in the morning. I liked the filly. In fact, uh, as I thought more about it, as I was talking to Mr. Troyer, I realized this was number six on my entire list. I gave you guys top six trotting fillies, top six trotting colts, and then some pacers. We bought the top pacer. We did not get the top filly, but Levesque in action, number one, was number six. She was on my list. Now, I thought she'd bring 18 or 20, but at that moment, when the bidding stopped, and I bid 11, and somebody bid 12, I thought to myself, there's a lot of horses to look at today. And I don't want to... I don't want to... just let her go. For whatever reason, I did. And then later on, you know, I had non-buyer's remorse. And, you know, you priced the horse at 18 to 20. She's number six on your list. You didn't buy her. And then along comes Mr. Troyer. He said, Mr. McDonald, I don't know. I was told that you may have been the underbidder on, on my filly. And I bought her back, and I was just wondering if, you know, if you were interested in her. Now, he told me straight up he wanted 15000 for the filly, which I thought, at the time, we're partway through the sale. We're more than halfway through the sale when he finally came up to me. I think he's probably right. She's well worth that. I'm watching the prices. She's well worth that. But I told him, I said, Mr. Troy, I'll tell you what I'll do, just so I'm fair to you and fair to me. Why don't you <coughs> let me get through the rest of the sale? I'll see how everything plays out. And then we'll circle back at that point, at some point in the next 24 hours. He said, that sounds fair. So he took his horse and he went home. He called me again, as I said, just a few minutes ago to ask again, as we were planning on circling back, about Levesque in action. Do you want to, uh, are you, do you have any interest in the filly? I said, yeah, well, what exactly do you, do you want for it? He said, you know, I thought about it. You know, you guys have a good farm. You, you know, you, you do good. Gonna get 14. You know what, James? You can't. You can't get 14. I'll buy the Philly off you, but I need you to keep her for the next week. We broke all our babies today, but with the little brown jug on Thursday, with swinging Senorita on Wednesday, a number of horses on Monday and Tuesday, it's gonna be tight. It's gonna be tight fit um, for me to get anything done. So would you mind keeping her? He said, No problem. Pick her up next week whenever you want. Um, you know, you bring the check then. I said, no problem. That sounds absolutely perfect. So Mr. Troyer, he's paid for all the accommodations, everything at the sale, as he has to. Um, we're going to buy his filly for $14,000. And uh, she's going to end up coming to sale. Now, I don't want to muddy the water. <coughs> I do want to tell everybody up front that I was under budget yesterday in the, in the Lexington A bucket. But I just don't want to buy a horse. I don't want people thinking that I'm just looking to put that put a horse in there. So, two points to that. I'm going to leave Levesque in action outside the buckets. We're going to sell her in the stable to everybody. Whoever wants her can have her. I think she's a beautiful filly. I spoke about her in depth before the sale. Five minutes before she went in the ring, actually. I spoke about her in depth, about how I liked her. I liked her video. I like her in person. And then we didn't get any Uncle Peters. Even another reason to buy Levesque in action. So, I uh, like everything about the filly. She got... She got a good grade, a good, a good pass grade for me across the board. Uh, we did not buy her at the sale, but we did buy her after the sale. And she's going to be sold outside the buckets because I don't want people thinking that I was just trying to fill up the A partnership. Now, when it comes to A partnership, for those of you out, out there doing math quickly, you realize that we're over 30000 under budget. We can address this two ways. There's 97 horses from Ohio breads being sold in Kentucky. I can buy one of them happily. I'm sure there's plenty of them I'm going to like. Or I can just give everybody a refund on it. 
really doesn't matter to me either way. I don't care. I suspect most people that were in those buckets want to stay involved anyway. So I suggest this to you. I suggest we just leave uh, Lebec in action outside the buckets, and I suggest we just wait and see what takes place at Lexington. If I find a, a very undervalued uh, Ohio bread that's going to do us some good that we can put into that A partnership, I'll happily do it. But I think there's no rush to do anything about that. So I'm going to leave it as is right now. I am going to take this filly, number one, Lebec in action from yesterday's sale, and put her outside the bucket for everybody. Because I think she's a nice filly. And I don't want people thinking I was just stuffing a horse in there to make up for uh, to make up for that shortfall. So that is some immediate, some brand new news hot off the press. We just purchased number one, Lebec in action. So we went from a baker's dozen to 14. That's a fat baker's dozen. Really fat baker's dozen. Beast. We needed a Philly and we needed a Philly and, and we didn't get any other peanuts. You're right. You make two very good points. Always helpful. And we didn't look at her. And we didn't know. Everybody knows we looked at her. I talked about her before the sale. So uh, that's that. We are now uh, 14 horses for 2023. Levac in action will be our 14th. And if you allow me to, when we're lucky enough, we find a horse we like, we may have a 50 when it comes time in Lexington. So, with that, I'll let you guys go. I am going to start all my videos now. I want to talk a very in-depth synopsis of yesterday's sale. I want to talk about everything that is going on, everything that might go on, and there is lots. I'll talk to you all very soon.